Right at the heart of India's Silicon Valley, Bengaluru, unfolds a narrative that pushes against the edges of tolerance and professional conduct. A bus conductor, a man of simplicity, assigned with the responsibility of ensuring the safety of his passengers during their daily commute, finds his world turned upside down, a result of standing his ground. The reason? A disagreement over a seemingly insignificant issue, ticket fare, an argument so minor, yet it rapidly spiraled into a situation nobody could have anticipated. A female passenger, dissatisfied with the fare, resorts to physical aggression, an action that seemingly is taken lightly, yet its repercussions are heavy. The conductor, caught in a whirlwind of emotions, finds himself resorting to self-defense, a natural reaction in any circumstance. However, in this case, his action cost him his job, his source of income, his livelihood. As we delve deeper into this unfortunate incident, we question the boundaries of self-defense. Where exactly do we draw the line? At what point does self-defense transition into being an act that deserves punishment? Furthermore, how do we ensure that those who provide us with essential services day in and day out are safeguarded in their line of duty? These individuals, often overlooked, hold a significant role in keeping the wheels of society in motion. Yet, they are often the ones who face the brunt of public dissatisfaction and aggression. Where do we stand as a society if we cannot protect those who serve us? In a world that is often too quick to cast judgments and slow to empathize, it's crucial to remember. Every story, every incident has two sides. A victim and a perpetrator, but who is who, is often blurred by personal biases and societal norms. Over the course of this narrative, we unravel this tale from the bustling streets of Bengaluru, we invite you to ponder upon these thought-provoking questions. Reflect upon your perceptions and preconceived notions. Let's aim to seek understanding rather than jumping to conclusions. This has been a minute of reflection, a moment of introspection. Stay curious, stay questioning. Until we meet again in the realm of thought-provoking stories.